I wasn't planning to make another Waypad video this quickly, but I got this complaint saying one of the load cells on these are bad. And you can see the bolts, three there, three on the other side. So six load cells total on this 16, 24 inch Waypad. And I'm not sure exactly what it is. I'm guessing maybe just one of the wiring, but I'll flip it over, take off the cover and you'll start seeing what I mean. So you can see the connector here and they had an interesting way of doing this where you notice there's like three cables here and then the rest of them here. But what's interesting is this one right here. You can see the bare wire exposed and you can see how this just comes off. So I'm thinking this is one of the signal cables for the load cells. I'm not sure which load cell, but this could be possibly the reason why he assumed that one of the load cells, one of these, are actually bad. When it could just be bad wiring, but I'm also just going to test for bad load cells as well. So I'm going to unwire this and then start checking for load cells. Yeah, it's very difficult to get out. It gets some of them out, but it seems like there's no good way of doing this, so another option should be cut it. And you can see a lot of the powder stuff on these cables. That's making more water resistance. So, so it's coming off. So now I just gotta strip all the wires. Okay, so I added solder to all these connectors. 
So there is a reason behind it, mostly because the strands will stay together. So I could test now with a multimeter, so I will see each load cell, seeing if it's fine. So what I did is, if you don't know the resistance values at rest when there's not a weight on it, you could always check the green and, uh, what was it, red and green and black. So, Show, it shows 295 on green and red. And 295 on green and black, so they should be the same, or within maybe five ohms of resistance. So that's kind of a way to check. You could also check if you know the input impedance, the red and black. I know it should be around 350. Or the red and black is 385 plus or minus to five or ten. So 384 is fine. And output impedance green and white, which should be like 350. So I know all losses were good, it was just made most likely that one white wire that was off. So I need to put this all back together, connect, connect all the wires, and then I shift it out because it was consistent. It was just off by whatever weight it was. So I need to get that connector and do this up.
So, uh, close up the weight pad, put it on the ground, and actually testing it out now. So, I have my indicator, my cable. So, plug it in. And you go through the calibration. Should be two. Should be zero. Should be two. Should be zero. Zero decimals. Zero three ten for ten pound accurate. Ten thousand pounds. Zero it out. My weight one sixty five. Okay, zero pounds. It'll oh, fluctuate 160, maybe 170. That's good. Back to zero. So this weight pad is fixed. All it was is just a bad load cell. So now I've got to put it back together, and that should be it. All right, thank you. Bye.